Good evening, South Florida. Today is Thursday, November the 1st. I am Manny Simone, and we've got the headlines that you need to know from our partner, South Florida Gay News. We're also going to check in with Gabriel Peralta for some fun entertainment picks on this week's guide. Tonight's episode is brought to you by SunServe and their annual clinical care conference taking place Friday, November the 9th. Visit sunserve.org forward slash conference 2018 for more information. Now, our lead story. Jerry Rabinowitz was Pittsburgh's preeminent HIV physician during the height of the AIDS crisis. He was among those killed in the massacre at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh on October the 27th. Michael Kerr, a former patient of Dr. Rabinowitz, said this about the late doctor. Before there was an effective treatment for fighting HIV itself, he was known in the community for keeping us alive the longest. From our neighborhood. Attorney George Castrotero hosted a forum to brief the community on a case he was handling for a Broward County school teacher, Mark Fetzer, who had sued the school district for claims of wrongful LGBT discrimination. Fetzer himself explained that his goal is to bring about change at the local level in order for LGBT people to not experience discrimination in the workplace. Fetzer urged everyone to know the importance of voting in all local and national elections. In national news, the father of a student at Nixon Smiley High School in Texas wants his son's teacher fired for telling his son's class he was gay and that his girlfriend was just a cover. While the father insisted his son was straight, he insisted gay or straight is not the problem here. The problem is the teacher making a comment causing bullying in the school. The father said he didn't want an apology. He wants the teacher fired. Despite her apology, the bullying hasn't stopped. Okay, it's about that time to see what Gabriel has for us on this week's guide. Thank you, Gabriel. What do you got this week? Thank you, Manny. I have some great picks for you this week. If you're a Queen fan, be sure to stop at the pub in Wilton Manors Friday at 10 p.m. as they host a Bohemian Rhapsody after party featuring Queen music all night. Saturday, catch funny man Tracy Morgan from Saturday Night Live and 30 Rock. He brings his stand-up show to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. Tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster.com. Sunday Fun Day is amazing at Cafe Iguana Penguin Pines. Amazing food and music make this beyond brunch. Starts at 11 a.m. And for all you foodies out there, don't miss Food Truck Fest at Hallower Park on Tuesday starting at 5 p.m. So many trucks, so much great food. Don't forget folks, you can view my pics on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram feeds at any time. Now, back to you, Manny. Thanks, Gabriel. We'll see you again real soon. Now, from around the globe. An American student studying in Israel is suing a Jerusalem pizzeria after they refuse service to him because he's gay. Sammy Cantor, a rabbinical student, came to the pizzeria and when the man behind the counter asked him, at a homo, meaning, are you gay? He replied, yes, and the worker ordered him and his classmates to leave. Cantor wrote in a Facebook post, Today, for the first time in my life, I was denied service at a pizza store for being who I am. This week in sports. A pink, white, and blue banner was unfurled from the crowd at Dodger Stadium during the World Series game between the LA Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox on Sunday that read, Transgender people deserve to live. The banner was flown for a few minutes before security personnel had it removed, escorting the activist from the stadium. This was organized by the LA-based group TransLatin Coalition. And now, this week in entertainment. It's been over 20 years since Ellen DeGeneres' iconic coming out moment on her Ellen TV sitcom. The talk show host is now reflecting on the media attention and the hate she received at the time. DeGeneres said, When I came out, I had death threats and there was a bomb threat. DeGeneres came out during season four of her show in 1997. Even though the episode earned huge ratings and won an Emmy, it was canceled one season later. That's it for this week's newscast, everybody. Be sure to visit sfgn.com to read these complete stories and a whole lot more. Special thanks to SunServe Social Services for the LGBTQ community. Visit them online at sunserve.org. I'm Manny Simone, and on behalf of myself and Gabriel Peralta, thank you so much for watching. Catch us right here next Thursday at 7 p.m. And now, a final sponsored message.